Well, growing up, I, I always look forward to the end of the summer. Um, I know that's a little unusual, but um, at the end of the summer, my aunt and uncle, my aunt Sarah and uncle Louis would always take me with them um, on pilgrimage to the North American Shrine in Orysville, New York. And we would always join that pilgrimage with Bishop Joseph Pernaconi, who was a very holy and, and beloved auxiliary of the Archdiocese of New York. And um, I remember one, one year in particular, I had just uh, finished getting my, my new clothes for the coming school year. And, and my parents would always say to me, um, make sure you take care of these clothes. They have to last for the year. And um, the day unfolds at the shrine. Uh, it was a beautiful day. We had many devotions, Stations of the Cross, Rosary, um, beautiful mass in the Colosseum Chapel that's, that's there at the shrine. Um, and the day would always end with a Eucharistic procession and benediction. And that would conclude our pilgrimage day. I remember that we were lining up on, on the, the side roads um, where the, the procession was going to pass by. And my aunt and uncle placed me right in front of them so that I would be able to, to see. But it had rained the day before, and, and there was mud everywhere. And we were standing on the side of the road in, in this muddy little place, and I was noticing that as the Eucharistic procession was coming near, people were kneeling down. And I was so conscious that I had my brand new school pants on. And I didn't know what to do. And the procession was getting closer and closer. And finally, it was right on us. And I hear behind me my aunt's voice. And she says, young man. And I knew right there, whenever she called me young man, I was in trouble. Young man, that is your Lord passing by. Kneel down. And as she said, kneel down, I got a karate chop on the back of my knee and down I go into the mud in my new pants. And I was filled with all kinds of emotions. I was embarrassed that my aunt and uncle had to tell me to kneel. I was afraid of what was gonna happen when I got home and they saw the knees of my pants all muddied, but I was in absolute awe of my Lord passing by in the hands of this bishop whom I admired. That moment of kneeling down in the mud, just watching him pass by in the hands of one whom I admired, it really came home to me. This really is Jesus. And I thank God for the gift of faith in the Eucharist that has sustained my life. And I try, I try to live worthy of the great privilege that's mine to each and every day offer that Eucharist, receive that Eucharist, receive my Lord.